Good morning. Yes, I am back from Orlando, Florida, even though the videos have just kind of started rolling out on my channel. So I am back from Florida and I am kicking off Comic-Con season here back in the UK. I do enjoy going to Comic-Cons. Like I said last year, I went a few last year, kind of got the bug for going to Comic-Cons. And today I am at the BGCP free event, free Comic-Con at East Kilbride Shopping Centre. I was here last year and I was going to go with the flow, see what's going on, see what's happening, look at some traders. I like to support local businesses and local creators and uh, traders and yeah, yeah, just everyone enjoying themselves at the same place at the same time and uh, yeah, just to have a good day. So not too sure how long this video is going to be, but I'm going to go into the shopping centre, see what's going on and then just kind of spread the day out and uh, yeah, have a good day. And uh, yeah, I'll try not mention Orlando, Florida and give anything away because those videos are rolling out. So uh, the way I've set it up on my channel is I've got an Orlando, Florida playlist and every Sunday, just now every week, the videos are going out for Universal Orlando Resort and uh, of course this, when this video goes up, possibly a Wednesday, this will go up midweek. Uh, yeah, so join me today for my first Comic Con of 2024 back in the UK and uh, yeah, let's go have some, some fun and see what's going on. Let's go. So here we are. I am outside the shopping centre, just about to go in. Today is the 2nd of March, a Saturday. And something new for this Comic Con is the Black Heart Market section. So we'll have a look at that, see what's inside that. Let's go inside. The Comic Con itself is operating from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So let's see what we can get up to. I'm going to do some, well I am doing some Comic Con cardio first, walking up the stairs, just so I can see an overview of what's going on, see what stalls there are, and see what's going on up here. So with this being in a shopping centre and being free entry, it's a different kind of format to, to most Comic Cons as you can imagine. Most of the action is down on the ground floor, um, on the first floor just now. And you do get some meet and greets as well, so you can meet some characters. We've got like Pikachu, Sonic and Knuckles, Venom, Deadpool, Iron Man, so we'll see who we can see today. See what money I can spend as well, if I see anything that I like at the stalls. In a different zone, so we're going to have a look around. First of all, I'm going to look around up on this level where there's nothing just now. We'll have a look the stalls and then walk around and see what happens today. It's starting to get busy now, starting to pick up. I do see some Star Wars characters, some Stormtroopers floating around. So I'm sure we'll bump into them, maybe R2-D2 as well. But the stalls are starting to get busy. So we'll see what kind of gems we can find. So far I can see kind of generic stuff like pop figures and t-shirts and even though I love a t-shirt. Like cards and Legos. But we'll see what gems, if any, I can find anything Disney, anything Universal. I am going to head back down the level and see what all the action is. But before I do, we do see this. We have the large inflatable Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. We'll go downstairs and have a closer look. We got a good, good view and a good picture from up here. Comic Con cardio. Ah, here we are, Ghostbusters and Stay Puffed. Marshmallow Man. It is massive. I've seen this a few times, and I'm sure I'll see him again, meet him again at more Comic Cons. Oh, it's proving very difficult. I do a vlog, it's very, very busy. But I found the BGCP store in Slimer in Dolby. So let's go inside. How cool is that? A Disney castle made from little beads. <laughs> oh, spotted some pins. Even a Mickey pin. Oh, 
Anderson as, as the Monsters coach. I'm not going to touch it, it's 80 pounds. It's on a shelf, I'm not going to touch it, most important. <laughs> that is awesome. Before Christmas. How cool is that like? That's a big Kong figure. Look at the size of that. There's some pretty cool things here. Not that I would collect. But that does look cool. Look at that. Look who's hiding behind everything, Captain Jack Sparrow. Look at that. That is awesome. So tempting. <laughs> really is tempting. Let's put it back. Now this here, this is what you're talking about. Lord of the Rings. I am a huge fan of Lord of the Rings. Look at this. That's how I, my face, that's my face right now looking at this. How cool. Some new ones as well. So cool. To look at all the detail and all the thought that's went into it. I don't know what that green slime is there. Is that like a thing from Alien? What is that? Oh, they even have the Ace Ventura pet detective card. <laughs> oh, I love Ace Ventura. Yep, some pretty cool things in there and a lot of comics, a lot, a lot of comics. Right, let's head on out of the store and go see another store. Well, it's a horror store. is something different for this year's event here, the Black Hat Market, all horror themed. Yeah, let's go inside and get scared. <laughs> So as you all know, I support the local and growing upcoming comets that have came across caged rats. Now our main character here, Mark, after a brief night with the lads, goes set for ways and is kidnapped back from his slave and forced to become the latest player of the slave fighter. And he has to fight other people in the exact same situations he is. So he's pulled into the criminal underworld and what the criminal underworld do is they hold, the, hold these illegal fights where gambling is right and if they take place in hidden away locations they're not televised, you actually have to physically be there and as you can see, they're very, very, very popular by the people that do attend these fights and uh, yeah, some first comics, self-published, self all fit, self-financed uh, Volume 2, uh, 29 pages, sword £5 and uh, volume 157 pages of story for £10. And uh, volume 3 is coming out later this year, which will wrap up the story for the page rats. So if you are going to future Comic Cons, make sure you check out Cage Rats. Go and say hello to the table and see 
what's going on. So cage rats, looks pretty cool. Check it out, that's a QR code for online. Well, look at that. I did not buy too much, I did buy one thing. I bought the Dune, the original Dune VHS, even though I don't have a VHS player. But yeah, that was really cool. I'll put a clip in that just now and you can have a look at it. Yeah, so yeah, really good option to have a horror themed store. That's the Black Hat Market. So if you have been following me and watched me for a while, you all know where I am. I am with Etienne, the Beats of War, and he has a fifth version, or fifth edition. Fifth edition. Uh, just want to make sure I'm saying it right. And there's two versions, so you've got this version and this version in regards to the cover. How awesome does that look though? Just look at that. Before. We've got all these to catch up on. And as always, I will put links down below. Where's the mask? There's no where's the mask? Not today, no. Oh, space no mask today. <laughs> Next call. So, <laughs> if I remember, I'll put a clip in of the mask because you cannot forget the mask. It's cool, really cool to look at. One one day, ATM will let me put it on. That's it. <laughs> You've got the yeah. silver foil cover. And the silver, sorry. Yeah, I've seen that as well. The silver foil cover. And that's all of issue one. Limited. That's a limited edition. Yeah. Thanks so much. Really cool story, really cool brand. Oh, the shutter has came down. You can't really see through the shutter, but they do a meet and greet. There just now is Venom and Spider Man. I can't get this is as close I can get just now because they've closed it. But Deadpool, I think, is coming out later on. I don't know how close I can get into it because of the way it's set up. So they're doing it inside an old store with a meet and greet, which is good. But yeah, I'll see how close I can get for any future characters. They are doing a scavenger hunt with collaboration with HMV so you give them a £50 gift card. I am not going to have the time to do this today but this is another kind of new edition I think. I haven't seen this last time on this Comic Con, in this location, this area. So that's pretty cool. There you go, got a chance to win £50 gift card in the East Coast Wide Comic Con. So I've came across crossbones, accessories and apparel which have these cool products, so cushions and bags which I'm going to show you just now. Again, something different like creative people. So let's have a look at some of the products, some of the things they have here on the table. This definitely sums me up I think. <laughs> so we have cushions, we have a very nice hat to be fair, that was super. Thank you. Thank you. How much are the hats? £30. Pounds. 30 They're awesome. And bags, what have we got? The leave, leave and Bigfoot, yes. Leave and Bigfoot. Always got to have a cryptid on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah, we've got all the different beanies here, so we've got like, Toxic, Dead Cute, Antisocial, that new metal, Gamer. I like this, one of my favourite seasons, Halloween. How cool is that? How much are the jumpers? £30. Pounds. 30, sorry, that's it. 
they're all hand bleached. Oh really? Okay, so they're all, yeah. they're all different then? Yeah. They're all kind of different. There you go, see. So they come in a solid colour and then I hand bleach them all and put the design on the front. That's awesome. And then we've got a whole range of canvas bags as well. Different types, to be fair. Canvas bags. Yeah. I like that saying, imagination. Life is your creation. I like that. It's lyrics from the Barbie Girl song. Maybe that's why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, giving all my secrets away from the Barbie song. That's it. Love it. That <laughs> so if you are going to future Comic Con, give it a good squish. Look out for <laughs> crushed bones, accessories in a pie. Go say hi to the table. Check them out. Comic Con, I need to pay for my parking. Find the pay machines are down here, I think. But yeah, I'm gonna get to the car and then we can recap. Now, what's been like I mean, a short day, really, to be fair for me for a Comic Con, a couple of hours. But yeah, let's get to the car, recap. Well, there you have it. Very, very short video probably, but a really good day. I mean, it's coming up for just after 4 p.m. just now. I was here at 11 a.m. So it was really hard to record a lot because it was very busy, really, really busy. And yeah, it's hard to put a camera in front of myself and walk and concentrate without bumping into anyone and catching a uh, certain language, possibly. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to show you quickly, actually, what I bought because I don't think I've shown this in the video so I got the Dune or Dune, Dune, Dune original kind of film there's obviously remakes coming out just now or out just now and uh, yeah on VHS we need to buy a VHS <laughs> uh, player but yeah oh, to be honest with you the the Comic Con for me is making connections, meeting new people and trying showcasing some new creators and things that I haven't covered probably last year uh, and, and people that I've met so that's what I enjoy about these Comic Con so it's really cool meeting you all, the people that I've met and uh, hopefully yeah we bump into each other in future Comic Cons so uh, yeah we'll, we'll probably cross paths and uh, yeah that's really, that's really it so I'm going to leave it there thank you all for watching the video albeit short. Well done to BGCP for putting this on. It's a free event. You can walk around the, the shopping centre as normal and also get involved. Not a lot of cosplay that I've seen. I've seen some pretty cool ones. I'll put some clips in. I think I put some clips into the video. There's not many uh, going about today that I've seen anyway or anything different but yeah hopefully we see some more at future Comic Cons. I think there's one next weekend. I might go to that. So hit subscribe to stay tuned for that. So Again, thank you all for watching, hope you're all well, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.